Hey everyone, this is Jim Grisanzio back for another interview at the um, at the Oracle office in Mumbai, India. Uh, we are here as a part of the Oracle Groundbreakers Yatra tour of India, and here I'm with Vinay Mystery. Vinay, nice to meet you. Um, Vinay, you're a speaker on the tour, so I'm kind of grabbing speakers as they come by uh, to get their impressions of the tour, of the conference that we're running, and the technology that they are talking about. Um, so, did you give a talk here today, uh, this morning, or this afternoon? No, I'm not talking being here. I've been talking in, uh, I'll be talking in Calcutta. This is after, is, uh, we have Hyderabad next, and then I work at Calcutta. So I'll be talking in Calcutta. Okay, good. I'm glad you actually came here because I, after Hyderabad, I go home. So I won't be in Calcutta, um, but um, so I'm actually glad we're having this conversation. So let's, let's uh, start off with talking about what you're going to be talking about. Um, you are, uh, you're into databases, but you've got your own company. You have your own consultancy. So let's talk about databases. What are you guys actually going to talk about? So I'm going to talk about um, databases in non-Oracle clouds. Uh, because uh, we all are talking about, you know, databases and Oracle Cloud, but there are plenty of people who are using Oracle on a non-Oracle Cloud, maybe Azure or maybe AWS. So uh, knowing topology around that is very important, right? Even um, saying so, Oracle Database Cloud is very easy to use. I agree, but there are a lot of uh, constraints people have where they have to use Oracle Database on an AWS Cloud or on an Azure Cloud. So here is, uh, my session is going to help them understanding what kind of topologies they can use on these clouds and uh, what is being supported and uh, what is not being supported. So we are, uh, my session is going to be somewhere around that area, it's, uh, that area only. Okay, that's actually good because everyone who works in this field has to deal with multiple platforms, multiple tubes for multiple communities from multiple you know, companies. So the diversity is good. Diversity is really good. Yeah, so uh, that's, that's, that was the point because uh, I, I had a similar topic spoken in some last year Sangam and uh, fortunately I got good crowd and people do understand that uh, we do work on Oracle technologies, we do work on Oracle Cloud which is very good but at the same time there are certain constraints which does not allow us to get into Oracle database. So that's the point where things like this uh, come up. So uh, being a users group, you know, I just don't get uh, people. So I actually had the Mumbai chapter here uh, for all in the Oracle users group. I'm being part of a core team as an AIOG director for communication. So I see a lot of people, you know, uh, asking uh, other questions than Oracle Cloud. So that actually spins my mind that we should have some kind of knowledge sessions happening on it. So that's how we started with this, these kind of sessions. So it's, it's very important to know, uh, though we are good in Oracle Cloud, but there are constraints which forces us to use other clouds. So here is the session comes into picture. Well, that's really good. That's excellent. But the more skills that all these developers have, you know, the better they will work within all of the communities. Um, so you mentioned earlier that you had your own consultancy. You're based here in Mumbai. So what type of work do you do? We are, we are working on Oracle database migrations uh, on prem to cloud. Uh, we also do remote database administrations for uh, uh, overseas companies. So we are a small team of um, 30 DBAs. So we all work together to you know, uh, support uh, US and UAE clients. Uh, also, we have got uh, CIO office as a service wherein we help uh, uh, medium businesses to understand the importance of uh, data analytics uh, ERP systems, how they can build IT processes. So overall, uh, we I am in DBA by uh, by my uh, work profile of almost 15 years. So past five years we have been helping uh, uh, companies to move into uh, the mode where they can use their data in a proper way, their ERP system data or their um, their uh, uh, public data from where uh, you know they can uh, leverage a lot of uh, analytics out of it. So my company works in uh, three areas. One is uh, data analytics, one is um, database administration, and one is uh, chief information office as a service. So these are the three areas where we work on. Cool. And how's business here in Mumbai? Business here is quite good. Uh, now people are uh, understanding what uh, value cloud is giving them. 
and uh, there are a lot many companies uh, where you know earlier having an information systems was very expensive to them but now uh, with invent of cloud it has become you know uh, slightly better and cheaper because they don't have to do any capital investments they just have to do an operational investments so that's that has bring lot of uh, change in the business here people are looking at you know now understanding that okay i should create my data i should use my data to you know go to the market or how i can save some money out of my running expenses or operational expenses so people are now looking at you know bridging the gap of uh, knowing uh, or or you can say they are now thinking about data driven decisions so that's how uh, the market is good it's it's picking up from the cloud perspective definitely from the oracle cloud because oracle cloud is now coming to india so we have a setup in mumbai uh, where oracle database cloud is going to be or oracle entire oracle cloud is going to be because we had data sovereignty issues here it's because of pharmaceutical companies they can't pull their data out of the you know country and things like that so that's where uh, the new database systems or new uh, oracle cloud uh, data center which is coming up in mumbai will definitely foster more people to use it and presumably with the cloud when you especially when you're talking with young developers one of the things is one of the interesting angles is this new opportunity you know you mentioned here you know lack of infrastructure right so it's new opportunity to do interesting new applications yeah so that's that's what is the uh, core of the business everyone is now looking at you know um, uh, rpa um, ai machine learning deep learning so there you will see lot of people you know started learning these kind of uh, things so slowly slowly people are now moving towards uh, technologies uh, which is being fostered by or uh, cloud services like oracle aws and things like that so they are they are learning analytics uh, from the machine learning perspective deep learning perspective autonomous systems autonomous drives so there's lot of uh, things happening around and it's the it's the time when you know startups are coming up booming like anything in india so if you see um, there are plenty of startups who are working on different uh, ai and ml projects so yeah, i know there are 11 or 12 startups who is just working on ai ml right from uh, pharmaceutical uh, um, uh, pharmaceutical companies who do the development of the products mm-hmm. then there are people who are actually doing the healthcare scanning systems they are actually analyzing the scans uh, image process the scan and then do the deep learning machine learning so i know plenty of people who are actually looking at ai and ml as their core business so right from the smallest uh, uh, smallest company who is just uh, say ortho dentist they are manufacturing teeth right so even they are using ai and ml now so you know so people are now understanding how ai and ml actually helps them to grow business very interesting. Um, cool. Well, let's shift gears and talk about the tour a little bit. You were um, on the tour last year, right? And then you're obviously on a couple of cities, you know, for this year. So I'm really interested to hear about how things went last year versus how you see them going this year. A lot of the some of the speakers went on last year and the year before and the year before that, <laughs> and uh, they can clearly see changes, clearly see the evolution of the community here. What's your impression? So uh, I'm being uh, associated with uh, AIOG for almost five years now. Uh, last four years, I'm being heading Mumbai uh, team, where I'm setting up these entire uh, yatra tour in Mumbai. So last year, I had been in I had been talking in Ahmedabad and Pune. uh yes there is a huge paradigm shift uh because uh, we started with just one room of tra- one track in mumbai and right. one track single track in mumbai so there's like five tracks here tonight five tracks so last three years we have got five tracks so uh yeah people started you know initially there were just 80 90 people this time we have got 200 people coming into the systems uh, coming into these conferences so yeah there is lot of change people are learning about it people know that now uh these tours does give them good information about new systems uh as far as the speakers are concerned they are being very helpful they are being coming for last uh, i see sandesh almost twice a year <laughs> once in tour once in sangam so he is being um, uh with us for almost now 3 years so 3 years he is being traveling to all the cities almost he he's very passionate about doing this work Uh, is being passionate about doing this work even gurmeet uh, gurmeet is last two years gurmeet is coming uh, raj is coming past two years sai is being you know since so so many years he is traveling 
but uh, yeah so there are a lot many new people also join in this year we have got suresh who has joined in from qualcom then uh, we had got um, uh, sachin pekle who is uh, oracle serverless guy so there are uh, now actually what happens is we are now shifting gears towards you know more of um developers till now we were doing only we were getting only dba people coming into our conferences but now um, just dba people uh, are not the users of oracle cloud the developers were using cloud the dbas were using cloud so now actually people developers also think that they should be attending these kind of conferences so that's how they are now that's really a good switch and that's you know when i you know when i did my opening session i speak in terms of developers in terms of especially open source developers people contributing code people contributing you know bug fixes and patches and um you know documents and translations and things like that those are more developer oriented you know messages um and so it's good to hear that the attendees are are maturing or i should say you're diversifying it into these areas as well yeah it's it's um, uh, it's going to happen i mean because you know technology is changing so fast every dbas DB will have to have some parallel skills with them because uh, with autonomous coming into picture dba work is going to be uh, you know uh, almost negligible to nil you know they have to switch their gears understanding developer drag understanding performance tuning understanding how they can do the migrations so these are the things which are going to be the part of uh, near future so people are learning that and that's how uh we always tell our dba is that you should have one additional skill always to you know sustain your careers in 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 the industry so that's how people are now uh, joining hands understanding even developers so if you see today even developer the last application developer track i see so many people coming in there last year there were very few people who were coming in there so now there are lot many people who are coming in there and i know each one of them because i am part of mumbai team and they are they are not developers they are dbas but still now they understand that we need to under, we need to learn our developers uh, what what the developers do or how we can uh, be you know easily switch my gears to developers track so now there is a shift uh, happening that dbas now want to learn about development projects and that's how you know these conferences are helping them a lot and uh, that's the reason even uh, if you see our next set of conferences sangam or even our sessions we we do almost every third saturday of uh, every month we do a session so even those sessions are more of a developer oriented so yeah so uh, for as part of uh, aiwg mumbai uh, past almost one and a half year we do every third weekend third saturday we do an a uh, small technology session half day or a full day either here or any other organization who help us to do so You, since you helped to run this, you know, local user group here, you seem very passionate. I mean, this takes a lot of work to do. It takes a lot of work. You seem like this is something that you really love to do. Yeah, it's it's like um uh a few years back when I was in their seats, maybe 7 8-9 years back, I used to think that, you know, I am stuck somewhere, but I don't have help. Right? Because there was nothing like this kind of community. So first time when um, uh, the first session happened in in, in this place itself, uh same oti and yatra the first oti and yatra which i attended i was sitting in one of the corners there and uh, then i understand that you know there are people who want to share knowledge but there are no um, there are no platforms for it and as that part of it we show an interest that why can't we have a chapter in in mumbai so that's how the entire stuff started and um, yeah you need to devote time it's a, ultimately it's a community work it's not something which is paying you right so it's a community work but then yeah it has given me a lot of contacts it has given me a lot of big networks it has given me a lot of knowledge which i have used in my uh, my day in day out life today if i am stuck up somewhere i just have to pick up a call and ask people or just put it on a telegram this is a question who has an answer earlier it used to be you know i have to go to my boss go to my friends who are in office they have got limited set of knowledge so they will give me some options but when i send to uh, uh, our telegram group of mumbai that i'm stuck this i'll get 10 different answers to choose from so this is how uh, uh, it has benefited me and that's reason i tell anyone you know uh, you should join at least one wall, one group where you know you can get this information you can meet people these people can help you getting jobs if you want to if you want to switch i've got so so many cases 
that you know people have got this help to get the job done so yeah i mean uh, it's very you need to be very passionate about it otherwise it won't work <laughs> yeah those are all really good really good points of the benefits of contributing to a community you know hard work you got to organize things but it's there's a reciprocal relationship when you contribute to communities you get something back Definitely. right and it's a very healthy exchange so but hey thank you very much for coming by appreciate Thanks, it Scott. And we'll see you back here in Mumbai for some more interviews. This is Jim Grisanzio. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.